Good morning, friends. Um, please pardon my wonderful look. No makeup, but um, I'm a sweaty mess. I didn't just get out of the shower. I just got home from working out. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you that part of my new morning routine. Um, go work out and sweat your butt off for, you know, 30, 30 45 minutes, an hour, whatever. Um, come home, and now we're going to have a morning smoothie. So, hi, Dana. So, um, I hope you've tried out your blender. If not, I'm going to show you how I make my morning smoothie. Um, it could also be called nice cream, I guess, because I don't really want it to be um, milky. <laughs> so, anyway, I don't want to, like, suck it through a straw necessarily. I'll eat it with a spoon. So, anyway, here, here's what I do. Or, here's what I did yesterday. And so, I'm going to share this with you because it was so good. Um... I've got my frozen strawberries, so I'm just going to put, you know, maybe a handful or so in to my blender. I'm probably need a few more than that for what I'm going to put in here next. I've got a frozen banana. You could probably use a non-frozen banana, and but again, I want it more, you know, ice cream-like. <laughs> so, um, now we're, here's where it's going to get a little tricky, guys. Spinach. Yeah, you guessed it. I'm going to go ahead and add some spinach right to this. Don't worry, I'm not going to taste the thing. Because <laughs> if I was, I wouldn't be adding it. <laughs> Who wants spinach in their, their morning um, smoothie? But, you know, it's good for you. It adds a little whatever spinach adds. And um, Okay, and now here's a, a couple more little keys. I'm going to add, Pampered Chef has come out with Enrichables. So we have kale and fiber. And we also have pea protein. So I'm going to add just a uh, little bit of my kale and fiber to this. Uh, be careful when you're adding this. You can add this to your like healthy meals. You can add it to sauces and, and stuff like that. But the kale and fiber is kind of green. So it may turn things a little green. I just sprinkled some in there, maybe a, a teaspoon. So it's, it's okay. I'm going to add a little more pea protein to it. Um, the only thing I've added these to is, um, I, well, not the only thing, but I added it to SpaghettiOs the other night. I was like, I'm going to make my SpaghettiOs healthy. Um, I might have added a little more than I needed, and so they were a little um, chalky-like, but that's okay. Um, they were healthier, right? So I'm going to add just probably a tablespoon of my pea protein, um, maybe a little more. It's, it's all good. See, it's kind of yellowish, and again, it's just adding that extra protein to it and not making it a protein shake necessarily. I guess you could, but anyway. And now I'm going to add some Greek yogurt because you got to add something to give it, you know, a little smoothiness, right? Otherwise, it's just fruit. And so I'm just going to add, I don't really know how much that is, maybe a half a cup altogether. Um, just, you know, two, two scoops. And I'm going to put my, oh, I haven't even turned on the power, so power's on. It says my lid is off, as I don't know how much of it you can see, because I'm going to swipe it. There you go. You can see a little bit better now. Uh, move my yogurt out of the way. So I'm going to turn this to you guys. I'm going to put my lid on. You do, it's so easy, because, I mean, you just put your lid on, you twist it. It makes the beautiful little noise. It says, ah, lid is on. And then I'm going to turn my dial. You could do a custom blend. But I'm just going to turn it to smoothie. I do know that I'm going to have to do my smoothie like two to three times because I've got everything that's frozen in here. But that's okay. I can do that. So I'm going to just push, push the, can't talk because it's so early. Push the start button and here we go. I'm going to take this off because I know it's going to not do much. So I'm going to do it one more time. You guys, 
Oh my gosh. It's going to be so good. So my dogs are going crazy because they can't, well, Pumpkin is kind of scared of the blender still, but I'll probably have to give him a little taste so he knows it's not a scary thing. So I'm going to do it one more time, so bear with me. Push the cancel button, turn the butt, turn it to smoothie, and hit start. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. Ready to rock and roll? <laughs> it's so much fun. banana flavor than I like so I could add some more strawberries um, but I'm going to show you what I've got so now I'm just going to turn my lid makes a little noise says hey your lid is off I wish it had a little noise tell me that hey you don't have your thingy in because I would I don't know I haven't done it with the thingy out but I guess if you were like doing the wash cycle or something, it could be messy. So here you go there, guys. That is my smoothie. Um, again, it's a little orangey brown, but yesterday's was delightful, so. Oh, man. So I'm sure today will be just as good. And if not, I can always add, eh, um, I can always add more strawberries to it. But now I just got my, I'm stirring up my yogurt that I just, because I'm using the, and the same scoop. So anyway, I'm just going to scoop this in here. I should use a pretty glass, 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 so you guys could see it. But you know, the reality is I got a red plastic cup. Yesterday I had, <laughs> I had a red Solo cup. It kind of made me, made my morning happy. You know, drinking a smoothie out of a red Solo cup. And so, it's delicious. I don't taste any spinach. All I taste is strawberries and bananas. So anyway, that's, that's how it's done. Now I'm just going to rinse this out. I'm going to put it on the wash cycle. Hang out in a minute. I'll show you the wash. You guys can't watch me rinse. Sorry. talking so I've got three cups of water in here I like to just rinse the top part off just a little teeny tiny bit you can tell not very much add a drop or two of um, Dawn and put that lid on I'm gonna turn this to ah hang on I can't see what I'm doing I'm gonna turn it to heated wash and I'm gonna push start it's about a five minute wash cycle because it's gonna heat the water and it kind of turns it and does its thing while it's doing that, I can rinse my other dishes off. And you guys are all like, really? We're going to watch a blender wash? <laughs> I mean, it does it itself. Why not? It's the best thing. I absolutely love it. Um, because seriously, it'll be like clean and ready to use um, for somebody else. Like when my son comes home and decides he needs a smoothie or if I wanted to make soup tonight or I don't know, I mean just anything. It's so much fun, I love it. Um, but I'm not gonna make you guys watch the wash cycle. Like I said, it's about five minutes. It's gonna heat up to probably around 200 degrees, 150, I don't know. But it heats it up, it washes it. So you do have to remember that this is glass. So when you take it off, it's gonna be hot. Um, 
But I, you know, you just touch the black parts. It's not hot. But when you're pouring it out, it's hot water. So, <laughs> so there you go. You heard it first from me. Everybody have a great day. Um, Taco Tuesday later. Bye.